The Health Ministry, through Cabinet Secretary Cecily Karaoke, had directed medical regulatory bodies to carry out joint investigations into the state of affairs at the Pumwani Maternity Hospital. A joint inspection team constituted from the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Board, the Nursing Council of Kenya, and clinical officers outlining the need for a functional cold room to be established within 14 days. In its preliminary report, the team further finds that the hospital should ensure availability of a functional transport and ambulance system to provide a 24-hour service. The team further recommends the submission of weekly performance reports on maternal and newborn health, duly signed documentation of patient care and effective supervision of staff by the hospital's medical superintendent. Within the next 60 days, the team recommends that the Nairobi County government should rationalize and adequately deploy health workers, equip and operationalize hospitals and health centers to provide a maternal and newborn health services, a move that will decongest the Pumwani Hospital and have the hospital management operationalize the second theater to provide 24-hour services. In the long term, the team's recommendations are to have the Nairobi County government construct and equip a mortuary, recruit and deploy staff, and equip and operationalize the third theater. A comprehensive report is to be presented to the Health Cabinet Secretary within 21 days. The findings contradict the rosy picture painted by Governor Mike Sonko, who on Wednesday claimed the hospital is well equipped and accused the management of failing to live up to their billing. Jackie Maribe, Citizen TV.